name is Christoph Hagemeyer, and one of my hobbies is developing software. And since October 2011, I was uh, yeah, working on a new project. So I have not uh, a name, but it's just uh, yeah, a topic who tells a lot of. And uh, it's just I have my phone and I will cinch the data to my, to my normal uh, mail client. And there's also uh, a calendar uh, page in Thunderbird Lightning, so uh, yeah, the initial situation was the calendar system, Thunderbird Lightning, and uh, no secure possibility to cinch the data. So I say to me the, the requirements were using iCal files for connection to known desktop clients, and uh, yeah, using a secure connection between all devices. The calendar app uh, has four views and an uh, add or edit event page. And uh, there's uh, events view. You can flick vertically and the events are listed day by day. Uh, the second view is a month view. It's also vertical flickable. And you have uh, seven days in a row for a week. And this week are, weeks are uh, listed in a vertical list. There are always, uh, you see, uh, you can always see six weeks at one time and you can scroll up and down, we can see. And the week view gives you the possibility to flick horizontally and it's also scalable. So you can see I will, I will just see one day or 14 days or something between them. And there's also uh, a day view where you can uh, uh, yeah, you have uh, your events from the special day and have combined this with uh, some calendar systems. The first calendar system is uh, the Maya and uh, it's because you can combine this very good with the past view. Um, yeah, the next will be a Chinese calendar. There are also nice items, uh, icons to, to handle this and you can play a little bit around with some calendar systems. Um, yeah, you have also add or edit event page, nothing special, and the configuration page. Okay. Yeah, what do you need is uh, just Qt. So uh, I have uh, uh, Mint or Linux with uh, version 5.1, and for the Android device there is Ministro used Ministro for GNU PG for the yeah for the normal uh, desktop client there's GNU PG in, in every situation but uh, on the Android device there's the Guardian project and they have uh, some apps maybe a secure chat client and so on and there's also uh, a GNU PG that you can use uh, with the terminal emulator. That's uh, one of the uh, other things that you need. You can download the terminal em emulator from app to it and uh, it's just like a normal console on, on, on Linux. The OIL file manager gives you the possibility in, in the GPG stuff to choose some keys and uh, save this. So the most important thing for me was uh, that the data will be encrypted on the device by use of a 2048-bit uh, key. So now you can cinch your data. Uh, if you have an update with just a login, a login to the Drupal services. Is, uh, Drupal is a noun content management system. Services is one of the modules and uh, the protocol is JSON. Um, yeah, the up Data data will be stored with a Drupal account, and in the future I will maybe connect another cloud service or a cloud ser or cloud services. And um, yeah, if you edit an event and say cinch, there's a special button. We will see it. Then uh, the file will be uploaded to Drupal, and if there is another client like a desktop application. Um, by now, there is uh, just the app used on the desktop, 
my uh, I I plan it to to make uh, yeah in the best case the Thunderbird plugin that you have uh, nothing to do with the whole stuff just configuration and uh, cinch yeah if you if you uh, refresh the cinch button on uh, on the desktop uh, it will be uh, a notify and other applications uh, will be download the file. So here, yeah, you have a synch, a decrypt, save, and uh, after that, you just have to update Thunderbird Lightning, and you can see that the events are refreshed. So I will show the program. Oh, my mouse doesn't work here. So, so I have two applications. It's just the, f the first. You can see there are some updates in the configuration file. It's a little bit tricky for me because, well, Okay, so the events view, you see the events view. There are, um, yeah, not a good example, but there's uh, one, uh, the Friday, the 11th October, there are two events in, uh, listed in a, in a day. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, you have uh, a, a, sync from, a, a sync button. Uh, search button, uh, flick today button, and just uh, the menu. And um, yeah, the month view is uh, a, little, a little upgrade are here. There are uh, icons for uh, moon phases and uh, some uh, other icons for there are for birthdays in the calendar that is used. Um, the week view is uh, also the same, uh, like in the in the first preview. Uh, yeah, if you reach the start or the end of of the list, there will be a, a reload event with some uh, short message. There's one important thing. This is uh, oh, <laughs> this is. Uh, um, a refresh and uh, as long as the model view uh, as long as the model is, is, is loading uh, a new list the um, you can see it because you can see it because it's very short but um, the animated gif uh, it's just a picture because uh, the whole event loop is, is stopping inside of Qt, and yeah, you can see uh, you can see it because it's, there was a little short time. Yeah, on the top of the app, you can see a, a little toolbar. It's it is it's a static toolbar, and uh, I, I plan to to fix this that you can uh, dy dynamically uh, have some special icons for for every view. Okay, so I will try to to make a little demonstration for synching for sync files. <laughs> So you my internet connection is very good. I don't know the VLAN is not at the perfect point. It's 
So if I if I press the cinch button, there is uh, there was an update on the Drupal uh, services. There is the timestamp for the current file, and I just uh, have uh, a GPG decrypt uh, command. So I put the the password of the of the key because if I decrypt the data. I must uh, input the password. If I encrypt the data, I can use the public key and uh, just upgrade uh, the file on the server. And uh, there are, you've maybe you've seen the the, <laughs> the cinch uh, button at the bottom, and uh, yeah, the refreshes in uh, the current application are, are not perfect, so. If I just restart, I can see some changes. There's the test event number three. Here's the day view. Stop. Okay. And uh, yeah. So I think 10 minutes are over. Thank you very much. Okay.